After finish the control shapes, I realized that uh, the guide needs some more adjustments on the configuration. So the first one is going to be on the neck. On the neck, if I if I build this, you will see that the um, the orientation of my IK control it's facing down. This is using the tangency of this uh, on this curve, and it's facing down. That is some someone's wanted, but in this case for biped we don't want that. The second thing is another another option on the configuration that I will show you in a second. It's here, and it's the uh, chicken style IK. So this will create like a chicken style neck where you can have a switch on IK that keep steady the the head when it's in IK and you can uh, move the body and the, the head will be like a gimbal like lock there like a steady cam so we don't want that for bypass that is on by default because that was the default behavior on the first release of this component like in MGR 1.0 but now it's not it's not what we want for biped, so I'm gonna uncheck it, and it's still like default to keep backwards compatibility. And the other thing I was commenting is this IK control that we can set it to be wall oriented. So that's it for the neck. Later, um, and then on the shoulder, I realized that the shoulder is not. Um, I mean, I said before that we can put this um, like straight, so we can keep this control straight. But there was something I, I I did a little mistake here. I'm sorry. Is that this on this uh, shoulder one needs to be matching this position because we have an orbit that is a control that helps to uh, avoid uh, gimbal looking on the on the arm. It's gonna be here, so we create an offset when we rotate from this op control. So in order to avoid this, I'm gonna change this to the shoulder two. That is the one that I was uh, thinking when I when I say that. So um, the first thing I'm just gonna drag and drop my shoulder to to the um, to the chest here so it's gonna be parented there and I'm just gonna open the settings on the uh, on the original shoulder so we can see side by side normally if it's same component it's gonna overwrite your settings so avoiding to have two components open at the same time of the same type but here is different shoulder one shoulder uh, two so I'm just gonna check the settings so you can see here the settings you have the shoulder root local and so on so this is the reference array and this is to um, to set where the arm will be rotated in reference to the shoulder movement um, so I'm just gonna set the same so here I'm just need to first of all change the the naming so I'm just gonna change this let's put index 2 so now here when I change the shoulder from center to left it, this is gonna become index 0 okay so I'm just gonna copy the same um, the same settings so just going here so it's shoulder so the first will be the shoulder so ensure shoulder L0 then it's gonna be local body spine and global so all that can be change the order it's not important but because we want well yeah let's change the order a bit cleaner I'm just gonna keep this spine spine effector, so it's gonna down, then it's gonna be the body, then it's gonna be the local, so it's this one, and then the global. So we go from like the top part to the, the to the base. It's a bit cleaner than this defaults here. Now the other thing is we have the arm UI host here set, and here is the spine UI. Why is the spine? Because when I parent it, I parent it directly to the spine, and by default it tries to configure with what the parent has. In this case, it was the spine, so it parented to or it set it to the spine UI here. But I don't want that. I want the hand, so I'm just going to select the hand UI that is here, or arm UI, and I'm going to set it there. Okay, so that's it for the uh, configuration of the settings. But now we need to match the original position, so we're still using this as a parent of the the arm. So I'm just gonna delete the right side, and also I'm just gonna hide here the the polygon, so we just work with the guide. So we need to match this. To match this, so I'm gonna use an option on the rig bits that is called match all transforms. So I'm just gonna keep this open here. And you can see here we have this match all transform. I think from Maya now also have his match all transform, but well, you can use either one or the other. So I'm just gonna select the 
serves the target and match all transforms. Don't worry about this for the moment because we know it's only important the position, not the orientation. So match all transforms. And now this is going to be matched with the uh, base of the arm. So I'm just going to again match all transforms. And last but not less, we need to match or blade so to do that just select the blade here just find a nice angle to be to see if it's properly oriented and I'm just gonna eyeball around there okay so we are good last we just reparent again or oops I did it the other way no yeah like this so we reparent the arm with the new shoulder and now here on the shoulders I'm just going to take my old shoulder that is renamed like L1 and delete it. So that's it. The shape of the controls is going to be take from the other adjustment that we did. So it's no big worry that we will need to adjust the control again. And the other thing was here. So here, if um, I parent the, the fingers uh, uh, under this control, that is the breeze, it's going to be parent on the breeze, but not on the on the hand itself. That the hand is represented by by this, and the connector, it's here. Is the last one, is the vector. So I just need to move this child of this. If I keep it like what I have now, I will get the rotation or the twist of the of the hand because the 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 wrist twist on the same angle than than the hand, but the other axis will not rotate. So. I need to change that here. So now this is going to be parented under here. And you see also the this control was already parented here. That was a little mistake when I uh, cut them and parent again before. And the last thing is here on the on the foot. I'm just going to show my, my polygons again. So you can see here on the foot that um, it's not matching the tip, and the reason is because before I used this um, geo setup as a reference, and the geo setup was pointing a bit outside like this, but the the shoes are more straight. So I'm just gonna gonna rotate this to match this and adjust the banking positions. So just to eyeball a little bit. I'm using the axis as one at a time so I ensure that it's not like moving in the y-axis or something like that. Also the rotation one at a time so it's gonna keep everything under control. Now just delete this and duplicate symmetry. And here same thing duplicate symmetry I take a few seconds just to scan everything. Oh no, I didn't push the button. Nice. Okay. Oh, looks like I was not selecting correctly. Just like this. Now it's okay. So take care with the selection. Probably I was selecting the blade or something. I didn't pay too much attention. Okay, so now it's um, ready. So I'm just gonna make an one last build. The visual inspection, this looks flat. The hand now it's moving correctly as expected. The IK control it's facing the world's orientation. Now the orbit it's aligned with the base of the arm here. That is this is the orbit. And we still have our controls flat as we want. And here it's also matching correctly the shoes. So I think it's good. Last thing. Don't forget to save. Since I have ready here my adjustments and scene. And we are ready to start skinning.